All day, all day, domino dancing. Alrighty, so let's talk about the noticer. There's a lot of power in the noticer. It just might be what this is really all about. Ready? You can change what you notice, right? If you open up your wallet and it makes a sucking sound, like there's a vacuum in there, like there's nothing there. You could imagine what it's like to open up your wallet and to smell, to see, to touch, right? A lot of money, right? You could do that. You can change what you notice. You could look out in the driveway instead of seeing a shit car, you know, that 1972 Ford Pinto, hoo-ha, right? I mean, you could look out and see, you know, you can change what you notice, right? You can look at, you know, you can look out and see your new BMW and remember when there was a 72 Ford Pinto out there. It ain't saying the words, it's experiencing, yeah, there, I used to park my Pinto there. Mm. Uh, now I park my black BMW there. Hoo-ha. So you can change what you notice. You can also change how you notice. You know, you open up your wallet and you see there's 500 bucks in there and you go, wow, that's all I got today. <laughs> right, some people go, wow, I got 500 bucks. Oh, that's crazy, man. I've never had 500 bucks. You get it's a very different imaginal experience whenever you see 500 bucks in your wallet and you go, oh, wow, I, I thought I was carrying more today. I'll have to get, get me some. Radio. See, I, I've changed how I experience traffic. Traffic is something that uh, does, it doesn't bother me because I... See, it, traffic inspires me. See, I used to, whenever I'd do the podcast, I'd be, oh my God, a noisy truck just went down the road. I imagine it's another listener. Right? I just, I just have some fun. So you can change what you notice. You can change how you notice anything. And you can change the noticer. It's all its all you're doing anyway. You can change the noticer. You can change the noticer by simply playing more. See, I don't want you to change yourself from being a positive person to a negative person. Or uh, is it the other way around? Someone who's confused, someone who understands things. See, I notice confusion always comes before a greater understanding. Yeah, sort of like a little puzzle. I go, I don't understand that. See, I, I don't resist not understanding. I enjoy not understanding because I know there's something new for me to discover. So I'm going to give you some homework today. Ready? Are you on a journey or are you on an adventure? I love noticing this. I just got off a live call with the Remarkable team. We're in month 11 of 12. God, we're exploring Simon. Uh, not Simon Peter. We started with Simon Peter. We're exploring the other Simon, the Canaanite. The other Simon, the Zealot. And what I want to do is I want to offer you the chance to trade something for something. A lot of people feel like they're on a journey. I want you to explore being on an adventure. See, on the journey there's ups, on the journey there's downs, on their journeys there are lessons to be learned. I hear this stuff. Actually, I notice it in a lot of people. And uh, so I invite you to notice, are you on a journey or are you on an adventure? You see, I don't get that you're God having the journey of a lifetime, right? I get that you're God having the adventure of a lifetime. See, having an adventure means I can stop and sniff. I can take little side trips. I can relax. I can frolic in the meadow. See, is frolic in the, frolicking in the meadow a journey? We have to get to the party. Or do you get to discover you're the dance again and again and again? I'm the dance. To me, every little podcast is an adventure. If it was a journey where I have to move you from point A to point B to point C to point D to point E to point F, hey, you might learn about something. 
And you might feel good about, you know what, I, I know something new that I didn't know before. See, for me, learning is behavior change. Learning isn't the same as learning about. Learning is behavior change. And that's what I invite you to. Because there's one kind of behavior, it's called the journey. There's another kind of behavior called the adventure. Can you have less of one and more of the other? How could you do that today? What could you imagine up differently? One more. Ready? Uh, I got three emails today on this. <laughs> I don't know what people are putting out there, but all I know is that I get the ripples from it. And it's the question about scene versus no scene imagi imagining. And I say, hey, you experienced a scene to email me. Well, not really. I just... Uh, See, the thing is, when we drill down a little bit, a scene is how you experience what you experience. How do you experience emailing me? That's a scene. Do you, do you experience emailing me knowing I'll get back to you? Do you experience emailing me knowing I'm going to argue with you? Do you experience emailing me? That's a scene. And they're so subtle. A scene is not the same as a movie. A scene is more like a snip. A scene is how you experience what you experience. Neville Goddard taught him for, I don't know, he didn't say, I've stopped doing scenes. He talked about what would imply your wishes fulfilled. Experience that. Give it the tones of reality. I can promise you, if you don't, if you don't skip that, you'll have far more fun. Give it the tones of reality. The western gate, the northern gate. Touch, sniff, hear, smell. Hmm, what's the other one? Maybe you see my point. Because here's the thing. Your awareness of being is God. How you're aware of anything being determines how it shows up in your life. How are, where, how are you aware of you? How are you aware of money? How are you aware of what you do in the world? Is it an adventure? <laughs> I hope so. Mine sure is, and I invite you to that. If you got gold, I've got a couple suggestions for you, just for fun. EasyManifestingMethods.com If you're just getting started out with us, go sign up for those little daily emails. The first seven that you get, you're going to get seven one day in a row. <laughs> uh, you're going to get seven over seven days where we share with you these two cool, or these cool little videos. They're going to help you get the basics rock solid. EasyManifestingMethods.com they're free. They're a gift. You also get the daily email if you do that. But the key is you're going to get a confirmation email. It may go to your inbox, your junk, your spam, your promotions. I don't know. All right? Wherever you find it, drag it to your inbox and click the confirmation link. Then we can send you the goodies. Next. Imagine my smiles. Manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's the 90-day adventure. 97 bucks. Imagine, notice if you feel that 97 bucks is a great investment or a big deal. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to get up to 97 bucks. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's a buck a day. So you get to notice how you imagine money, how you imagine you with money, without money. But are 